everybody, I'm your Rent-A-Friend. Last week, we started the series Defining Evolution. People all the time be coming up to me in person or on social media, email, Twitter, and whatnot to tell me how dumb I am for rejecting evolution. But then when I ask them, well, what do you mean by evolution? Can you define it for me? Most of them can't. Some of them don't even try. Now, to be fair, there's probably a lot of Darwin doubters who also can't define it. They don't know what it is. They've just been taught, well, it's wrong, and they're like, all right, that sounds good. So to help everybody, I have written the world's first clear and useful definition of evolution, which this series is going to get into. It's going to tell you what it is, it's going to tell you why my definition works, and it's going to examine the rest of the evolutionary theory based on it. You're welcome, everybody. So in the intro to the story, the friends are sitting around their table at Danny's Bar Grill and House of Rabble Rousing, waiting for their ginormous pile of nachos, and they almost get into a fight about whether or not evolution is true. But one of their friends wisely suggests they should first define the term before they fight about whether or not it's true. And here's something that applies not just to the creation evolution debate, but to a lot of arguments. The first thing you have to do is define your terms. Because most of the time, you're going to find that you think you know what the other person means. And you're using the same word. But at some point into the conversation, you go, that's not what I meant by that at all. Is that how you're using that word? Because that's not what I meant by that word. Just as an example, the word good, what does it mean? Well, it depends on the context. People will fight angrily about if a movie is good or not. Be like, this movie was good. And they're like, no, you're wrong. That movie was bad. You're an idiot. And they're like, shut up. I like that movie. I think it was good. What do you mean by good? Okay, do we mean it had great cinematography? It was a success at the box office. There were a lot of explosions. They chose not to give any dialogue to Keanu Reeves. What is it you mean by good? Until you can define that term, you can't have a meaningful conversation. You're talking past each other, not at each other. The same thing happens in conversations about creation evolution. Until people define what evolution is, then they can't really have a meaningful conversation. So there's the takeaway for intro chapter one, that the fight almost starts. Learn to define your terms, everybody. Don't assume you know what people mean. There's a lot of terms people use that we all think we know what it means, but we've never really stopped to define it so that we don't know if we're using it right or if other people are using it the same way. How about the word love? The word religion? How about the word dating? Ladies, just as an example, when a guy asks you to be his girlfriend, make him define the term. You say, girlfriend, what does that term mean? His head will pop like a zit. In chapter two, the guys are gonna be looking at the Darwinian tree of life, which is a visual depiction of the history of life on Earth according to Darwin and his disciples. It starts three and a half billion years ago at the base of the tree with bacteria, and then it grows up through worms and fish and lizards all the way up to William Shatner at the top there. They're gonna see if this kind of thing can clear up whatever evolution is, and then they'll eat a huge pile of nachos. That comes out tomorrow on creationsoapbox.wordpress.com. I hope you all enjoy that. Thanks for letting me be your rent-a-friend.